Yatush, my ninjas. Welcome back. Joe and Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. We're going to bust open this corset. 2020. I know. It's crazy. Back to Pound Town we go. Up on the F truck is good old Adam Thorman. Adam Thorman. Good luck, my good sir, ninja man. Good luck. Let's do this. Now, there has been a pattern. This is true. There was a pattern discovered. It looks like in every, uh, perhaps in every case. I can't say for certain. Um, but the pattern tends to be a ley line box. A ley line box. I know. This is crazy. We've had one already. Let me put these back. There we go. Will we get another one? I don't know. This is from the same. This is all from one case. So you guys can see what uh, all comes in a case if you just go back. Um, to the last uh, few videos and check it out. Mystic Forge. Starting things off a little sluggish, my friend. A little sluggish. I need a new table. This table's busted. It is busted and disgusted. Uh, Cryptic Caves. Who cares? And Masterful Replication. Foil Gruesome Scourger. Get a load of that guy. He's seen some better days. Actually, this is probably like the highlight of his life right now. Just throwing it out there. All right, moving forward. A Johnny. How are we going to pull in a Johnny out of it? A Johnny. I wonder if there's any trends also. Has anyone noticed if, um, you know, you pull the Mu Yan Ling, if you get the Mu Yan Ying wrapper. Ooh, a ley line of sanctity. Starting things off with a stink. There you go. Nice little hit for you, my friend. Mr. Thorman. And the power of the F-Truck be forever on your side. Air Elemental. And Elvish Reclaimer. Great card. Sees play across vast formats. Oh, my God. Evolving Wilds. Telling you, this card, 20 bucks, man. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Great card. Nothing's better than that. First printing, too. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Herald of the Sun. A little bit of angel sauce. And the good old Raptor. Ooh. Can't get enough of that, baby. Made that infinite combo deck already. It was pretty legit. Pretty legit. Actually, I got back to deck decks today recently, too. I think I got to play more competitively. I don't think people like... I don't, I don't think they really... Oh, yeah. I think they anticipate misplays, and they're like, ah, I'm just not interested. Leyline of Anticipation, though. How about that? And a murder downgraded from the good old Uncommon to a Common. Unbelievable. So, Popper, have at it, man. Was that in it before? Was it, was murder ever printed as a Common at any other point? I'm not sure. Glint Horn Buccaneer all up in the madness. There you have it. Oh, and a goal of Stylus Pilgrim. Not sure what that value is going on for this guy. Um, but I've heard um, it was Balk last I looked. Um, but the foil, who knows? I mean, a card like this could take off. I could be completely wrong. I am uncertain, my friends. Uncertain. And I don't think we had a case hit yet. But something different. Um, with these boxes, I noticed you could pull a case hit, which is a mythic foil. And then, ooh, Leyline of Abundance. We might have another one of these boxes. Leyline of Abundance. Holy smokes. Uh, another Leyline box. Quite possibly, man. All the Leylines. Um, you can pull a case hit, foil mythic, and you can pull a foil rare, which was something that was kind of unheard of before this set, I want to say. Repeated reverberation. <sighs> that would be sweet in foils. You guys got a favorite foil? I think... If I pull a repeated reverberation foil, that very well could be my favorite foil from the set. Very well could be. Just because of all the flames everywhere. Cavalier of Thorns. There you go. Got our first mythic. I actually just bellowed. Oh, and a Drawn from Dreams foil. Nasty sauce there, man. This box is looking OA okay, man. It's looking A okay. I think we pulled three rare foils out of a box as well, which that's something that's something pretty crazy. Oh, pre-release. How did everyone do it pre-release? Let me know. Let me know. Planner cleansing. Uh, myself, I did go out. I hit up Warzone Matrix, and I played there. I finished five and three. Got off to a really good start, four and one. People are like, kick his butt. 
Beat Joey Moss's butt. Oh, speaking of beating butts. Not bad. Muyan Ling showing her gorgeousness. Very cool card. Very cool. Oh, I love that elemental token. Can't get enough of that. But yeah, I went five and three at pre-release, which wasn't too bad, you know. But how did you guys do? Oh, is there something wrong with that? It looks dirty. You see that? Look at all that. There is some serious pro. I think there's some serious problems going on with that card. Yeah, that looks really messed up. You guys see that? Look at the top of it. Like, the top is just, what happened? The F truck definitely plowed through on its way to plow through. Unbelievable. Hanged Executioner, all up in the piece. And the good old moment of heroism. Everyone needs a hero. Am I right? Uh, maybe. Someday. Everybody crash some jams. Iron Root Warlord. Bam, boom, boom. Yorick the Desecrated. Get some. Very solid. Beautiful hit, my friend. Desecrated. Nasty. With an Ember Hauler to punt out the back door. Very cool. Make sure these piles aren't getting crazy. Very nice, man. So your box is looking pretty deep so far. Hitting a couple bumps along the way. Nothing too nuts, though. Need that other... Need the black ley line. You pull the black ley line, we're really doing good. And that lotus field. It seems like... Okay, maybe I'm just seeing stuff. Uh, Graph Digger's Cage. All up in here. Bada bing. And the Lavakin Brawler. I like that. The Lavakin Brawler. That looks good. Good in foil. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I think we're about almost halfway through the box. Mr. Adam... You're doing A-OK -okay so far. Ooh, thought it was the big girl. Uh, but we got the little friend. We got the old sidekick. There we go. But uh, it turns out this card's uh, outperforming right now the other. Um, the six drop mythic. Um, I guess it's just not all there yet. You know, it's just not all there. Ooh, Starfield Mystic. A sign of Theros to come. That's what that is. I like this card. I really do. I really like the artwork on that one. That gorilla. It's got a place in my heart. There's no doubt about this. No doubt about this. All right. Let me pull him up a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not be sliding stuff here. I'm very sorry. I knew that was bound to happen. There we go. I'm going to move this whole pile way over here. Da -da. There we go. All right. Blood soaked. That card's great in... Uh, and sealed, let me tell you. It really is. Bishop of Wings decides to show up. Bishop of Wings. With some of this, some of that, and one of those. Soren, please. Please, pop your beautiful head up, man. Pop your beautiful head up. There's no uh, mythic pattern ha that I've noticed in these boxes. That's a plus. Chandra's Regulator. Roundup. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down, buddy. Slow down. All right, there we go. Things got a little crazy there. I started a new common pile. Bada bing. Chandra's regulator. There you got. There you have it. This does not go here. That does not go there. And that does not go there. There we go. All better now. Mistakes around every corner, but nothing dangerous yet. We got Blood for Bones up in here, Creeping, Apostle, and the Maw of Flames. Got to make one more dragon deck, another five-color dragon deck, just to really uh, shut her down before um, the set, um, the four sets rotate out this fall. When, uh, was it Archery? I believe it's Archery, when Archery drops. So, that'll be fun. Temple of Epiphany, our first Scryland, decides the show. All right, we need to step it up. I mean, you did pull some decent mythics, but we really got to we gotta get it going, man. We got to get it going for you. Got the Warlord and Dread Presence. Haven't seen that in some time. Love the artwork yet again on that. Very, very cool card. There you go. Got an emblem. Can't go wrong with that. Oof. Man, sometimes the packs are a little more difficult to open than I'm used to. Eternal Isolation, Ryzen, that's really good, the Risen. Knight of the Ebon Legion's good as well. And a Foil Meteor Golem, another bomb if you could bounce it, which uh, this one guy made a deck bouncing Meteor Golem 
And let me tell you, that is not fun to deal with, my friend. That is not fun to deal with in sealed. Just gonna get bouncing. That was a deck I think that beat. No, I beat that deck. I can't remember what deck it was that I lost to. Uh, Gargle's Vicious Watcher. It had that one uh, black enchantment for six in it, though. And then he also pulled the one uh, creature, or yeah, the, the other enchantment in Golgari. If I see it, I'll let you know. Um, but whenever a creature of yours dies, Leyline of Combustion, got a Leyline box. Where is the last one? Can we confirm a pattern here? This will be two in one box, or two in one case. Uh, we can confirm a pattern here, quite possibly. Boom, boom. Ooh, Embodiment of Agonies. Cool, sis. Uh, but it's the one where uh, it's a five drop, Golgari colors. If a creature dies, um, if one of your creatures dies, you get to draw a card, I think, and you gain one life or something like that. I can't be too certain. Temple of Mystery. But uh, it was out of control. Foil Swampage. There you go. Pulling the Foil Swamper. Not bad, Mr. Adam. We are down to about seven packs to crack, Jack. Seven packs to crack. Whoops. -doodle. There we go. Thrash and brought it on. Got the reprint. You need it, though. Tails End. Pretty solid. Uh, rare there. Another Evolving Wild. Amazing card. Just takes my breath away. Better than Prismatic Vista. Swing. There we go. Uh, Blight Beetle. Noxious. And Temple of Triumph. All right. All right. So that's another pattern, though. I noticed you'll get... That's actually a really big pattern. You'll get, like, uh, four of the, um, the Scry Lands, and then you'll get all of the, um, the Ley Lines. Fact, Jack. Fact. Brought back. Is that card still maintaining its price point? I gotta do another update video. This weekend, to be looking for that video. Alright, Fire Elemental and all of its gloriness. Master Splicer, like Master Splinter. Lotus Field! Hot air! There you go, baby. I know you wanted it. I know you wanted it. I feel like there's only like two of these in a case. Oh, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Best rare. All right there, my friend. Right there. Really cool sauce. Aerial Assault. So glad we got that for you. That was really cool. And then we got this, that, and Shifting Ceratops. I still want to confirm it. We got to get that black ley line, and it is a confirmed pattern. If we get it, man, it is confirmed that when you get, like, when you get at least three, you're going to get all of them. That card's stupid. Okay, stop. Soren shows up. Very, very cool, man. Very happy for you. This box really heated up in the end. So, you did pretty good in uh, in Poundtown, I believe. I think everyone's done pretty decent in Poundtown. I think we had one that was average. Villas Broker of Blood. And a Foil Feral Invocation. There you have it. Down to two packs. So what's it going to be? How are we going to get that ley line? Are we going to get the confirmation, emancipation, proclam? I don't know what's going on. Oh, scheming symmetry. Decent, decent, great card. Last pack to crack. Let's go. Let's go, Adam. Can we go out with a bang? Get the ley line, and I'll flip. Chandra, novice, pyromancer. Oh, what a teaser. Rotting Regasaur, still a great card, though. And Temple of Silence, foil rare. So three foil rares in a box. You don't see that every day until, of course, that 2020 came around. Adam, you did well, my friend. Uh, next up is going to be Michael Vorhalen when I crack these boxes, probably about two days from now. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you punch the like button on out the dough. And excuse yourself.